Hello, EGE Inom Zombies here, and we've got another Life After Us game. I didn't know that they were like a series of games, and I also didn't know that they're based on the universe of HP Lovecraft and Edgar Allan Poe. So I am now extremely interested in playing them. I liked the first one, I played the shipwrecked one a lot, even though it had Nazi zombies that were kind of scary. So this one is supposed to be like in a sanitarium and you're looking for some chick who's like insane and returned here Because this is where she used to like stay this is where she used to stay at I have been tasked with retrieving the granddaughter of mrs. Hemington I have been told the girl is in her late 20s, but due to her mental illness. She has the mind of a child She is believed to have returned to Hawthorne sanitarium Oh no. Yeah sanitarium where she was once a patient. I will search the asylum for the girl, and I just almost had enough time to read that whole thing. Almost. Yeah, see? Look at how pretty that is. Is that where I am? <gasps> Ahua! Ahua! That's what kind of happy horse is going to happen here. Why won't this... Is it not openable? Whatever. I'm gonna assume you just can't open it then. Uh. Give me. Oh. I made a new friend today, Dr. Tar. He says I'm very pretty. He kept touching my hair. He must really like it. What she said. I totally likes my hair. Mmm. Mr. Teddy? Is that what that says? Mr. Teddy should be here. Aw. You miss your Teddy? I don't like it here. A mean woman took Mr. Teddy away. She said I'm too old for silly things like toys. He's not a toy. He's my best friend. I can't sleep without Mr. Teddy. I wish someone would bring him back. I need him next to my bed. So, let me guess. I have to go find Mr. Yep. <laughs> Gotta go find Mr. Teddy. I guess that's a little fucking useless. I guess I really don't need the flashlight yet, huh? Mr. Teddy. That door doesn't open. Uh, I don't think this one does either. Mr. Teddy! Oh my god. Dr. Told Tar told me to meet him in his office and said not to tell anyone. He put his hands on me and touched me and smiled. I didn't like where he was touching me, but he said it was part of an examination to make me feel better. Aww. This poor girl needs Mr. Teddy real bad. I, I'm, like, terrified that the lights are just going to shut off at some point. Mr. Teddy. I black out, and upon awakening, I find myself in the asylum, but something is wrong. The darkness surrounds me, and I, I feel as if I'm not alone. I must find the girl as soon as I can. Uh-oh. Fall real? Okay. Now it looks like the other one. <laughs> The fuck is this shit? That is beautiful charcoal artwork there. I really dig your style though. Dr. Tar told me I'm very pretty and what? I'm very pretty and that I'm not a girl. He said little girls don't look as pretty as I do. He says I'm oh, I'm a woman. Well, I mean technically she is a woman, but she don't know that. Oh, what, can I not f sprint now? Or can I only sprint sometimes? I don't want to stain. Is, what is? 
strange substances on them there, Flores. It's like the same hallway I was in that, right? Dr. Tark told me, told me, came to visit me at night. He kept saying I was very pretty. Then he got in the bed and on top of me. He kept telling me not to make any noise, but it hurt. He got mad when I shouted in pain and he hit me. He visits me every night now. Um, he wants me to be pretty. Journal entry, make me pretty? Do I have to find clothes for it? He gets mad if I'm not pretty, 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 pretty. This poor girl has been trifled with for too long. Let us make her feel beautiful. Ooh. Some beautiful art in this asylum. These patients really know what they're doing with the brish. Why is it? What? Ooh. That's weird. Whatever. Why? Please don't tell me I have to run from things in this. I had to in the last one, but there was a lot more running room. Now they ain't shit for shit. He gets so mad if I'm not pretty. He said... He says, my head is so small and pretty. I started bleeding after he came to visit me last night. Wish I could go home. Ah. Uh -uh. That sucks. I feel, like, sad for her in her shitty disposition in life. Is this okay? I can't even fucking get to it. Shitty. I told the doctor I keep getting sick in the mornings. He got so mad when I told him that he hit me in my belly. Yeah. Because he's a fucking idiot. For a doctor, he doesn't know much about fucking anything, apparently. Oh. Is that how I have to make a pretty? Seriously? Fuck me. Running. Jesus. That is just... Ugh. Shit's creepy. And I'm tired. And I don't want that guy to freaking uh, 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 uh at me again. Um, was it was it in here? No. I'm all turned around. Was it? No. I don't want him to come back. Before I find this fucking deck. What? Are you- what? Uh- oh, are you fucking- <sighs> Why don't they give me weapons in these games, ever? I played Life After a Shipwrecked again and I found a shotgun somewhere, so they exist. I didn't mean to hit the mic, I'm sorry if that was loud. Good- God. You know what? I actually think that I've been going for more than 10 minutes. I didn't set a timer. I'm dumb. Well, I think I'm actually going to cut the recording right here then for right now. And uh, I hope you guys liked it. This shit is fucking freaky. And uh, <sighs> I'm still like in the process of having a heart attack from that fucking doctor and that <laughs> guy. Anyways, thank you guys for watching so much. <laughs> Please leave a like, subscribe, check out the other people on my team, all the stuff in the description. Peace out.